You know that feeling when you're editing and you need After Effects for animations. Then another tool for captions? Yeah, friends, the constant app switching kills your creative flow. But I got my hands on Filmora 15, and now I can say this might be their most significant update ever. It's packed with AI-powered features that used to require multiple applications. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll walk you through seven game-changing features of this platform. We'll see exactly how they fit into a real edit and where they can speed up your day-to-day -day workflow. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. All right, mates, before we jump into the features, let me give you the big picture. Filmora 15 isn't just another incremental update with a few tweaks here and there. This version fundamentally changes how creators work by bringing professional-grade tools into one streamlined interface. The team at Wondershare focused on one core question – how do we eliminate the need to jump between multiple apps? The answer is right here. From AI-powered timeline extensions to built-in motion graphics and data visualization, everything you need is now under one roof. What really stands out is how these features work together. Folks, you are not dealing with a collection of random tools thrown together. Each feature connects to your workflow naturally, helping you move from rough cut to polished export without breaking your creative rhythm. The learning curve stays manageable too. If you have used any version of Filmora before, you'll feel right at home. But now you've got access to capabilities that previously meant opening After Effects or relying on expensive third-party plugins. Guys, today I'm going to rebuild the viral style short from scratch. The goal is to show you how Filmora 15 handles each step and track how much time we save compared to traditional workflows. By the end, we'll have a clear picture of whether it delivers on its promise of professional results without the complexity. First up is getting footage onto the timeline without making a mess. Hover your mouse over any clip in the media library and get an instant preview. If you find the moment you want to use, just mark the start and end frames. Filmora drops that exact section to your timeline. No more dumping every take on the sequence and scrolling through rejects later. Friends, this keeps your workspace clean from the very start. Now let's fix pacing without reshoots. Say you shot a great opener, but it ends 3 seconds too early. The app adds AI Extend right on the timeline. Select your clip, click AI Extend and drag the endpoint out up to 8 seconds. The system generates extra frames that match your original motion and lighting. This corrects timing issues directly in the edit, compared with tools that only allow a couple of seconds of extension. This gives you room to actually breathe inside a shot. Folks, our next feature is motion graphics. Traditionally, custom animated paths meant a separate app or a long session with manual keyframes. Filmora introduces a pen tool you can use directly in the preview window. Click the tool and draw a curved path over your scene. Next, attach an arrow sticker or icon, so it follows that route. You get clear, guided motion without leaving the editor. Instead of building complex animations from scratch, you shape the path and focus on the story you want to tell. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Here's a thing that feels made for modern creators. Open the toolbox and select Animated Charts. You'll find clear visual options like bars, lines, and pie charts, all with built-in animation. Product reviews can show side-by-side -side comparisons. Educational content gets clear, readable statistics. Instead of sending data to another program, you import a CSV file, choose a style, and the animation is already built in. This gives you presentation-grade data visualization right inside your video editor. Now, mates, let's talk about captions. They have become a basic part of modern video, especially when many people watch with the sound off. Navigate to Titles and select Dynamic Captions. Filmora transcribes your audio automatically in multiple languages. But it's not only about text on the screen. These captions come with animation presets. Words highlight as they are spoken, key phrases stand out, and you can match the look to cinematic text styles. The active words option highlights each word as you say it, which helps keep viewers engaged. Friends, what used to be a separate subtitle in Step Now 
happens in a few clicks during the main edit. Here comes the professional layer. Dual timeline editing gives you micro and macro control at the same time. When you open or import the sub-project, Filmora shows a second timeline view. One timeline holds the detailed edits for that segment, the other keeps the overall structure visible. The macro timeline shows your full episode, while the micro timeline lets you tighten cuts, transitions, and text. You keep the big picture visible while polishing the small details. Mates, our final checkpoint is all about reusable structure. If you publish regularly, you probably have recurring segments that repeat across episodes. This tool lets you import entire sub-projects, save your podcast intro or channel opener as a separate project. For each new video you import it, update the text or logo, and move on. This keeps your brand consistent while cutting setup time for every edit. Instead of rebuilding the same elements again and again, you maintain a simple library of components that drop into new timelines in seconds. Guys, let's wrap this up. Today we have seen that Filmora 15 keeps everything focused on speed and real efficiency. You move from idea to final export without slowing down. Every tool cuts extra steps and keeps your workflow clean, which matters when you create content regularly. Guys, download Filmora using the link in the description. My code gives you a trial, so you can rebuild a short in minutes and ship a few videos this week. Folks, before you go, Tell me in the comments which feature would save you the most time. I am curious to see what makes the biggest difference in your workflow. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.